Right, I reconstructed my main channel plate. Uh, I'm ready to put the gasket on. I'm ready to put a metal plate on. Uh, I need to inform you guys, I have uh, kept this one original. The instructions say, say I have to put in uh, one millimeter, but I've put in a 1.7 millimeter like that one, because if I look at what I took off the main channel plate, I took off two, two parts of 1.7 millimeter. So I'm going to ignore the instruction on this one, and I'm going to put in what I took off, because this transmission has about 260,000 kilometers on it without any problems. So this is the right way to go. I don't care what the instructions say, this is the way to go. What you do with your transmission is up to you, um, but it's worked for 260,000 kilometers, so I'm gonna stick, stick with it this way. What I'm gonna do now is take the gasket, carefully put on the gasket. Nothing can go wrong at this point. I've only got one hand since I'm holding the camera in my other hand. And once you've carefully positioned the gasket, you can clearly see the way you put the valve body, the main channel plate, together. You see purple, 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 yellow, yellow, uh, brown, purple, 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 green. You see a Mexican head pointing upwards, you see a spring with a Mexican head pointing downwards. So what we're going to do now, and I'm going to need two hands for this, uh, right now you're going to put on the metal plate, the metal sheet. I have it right here, 100% clean, looks brand spanking new. Um, well, you can only go one way with that metal sheet because there's only one way it'll fit. You have to be careful because that little Mexican head over there is going to be put into position by the sheet. And also make sure you align everything as good as possible because after this uh, step, after you've put on the metal sheet, we're already going to start bolting up the valve body. So be very careful and I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, so I put on the gasket, I put on the, the metal sheet, I've aligned everything almost perfectly. Uh, you're ready to start assembling the valve body. Uh, what you're going to do first, you're going to put back the uh, large parts. As you can see, it can only go one way. This is the one with the opening for the filter, and the other one goes right over here. You can already uh, bolt them to the main channel plate by following your uh, bolt pattern. Basically, uh, we're not going to put in these bolts yet, because they're also screwed into these other valve body parts. We're going to take this part, and we're going to take these three bolts. Uh, don't torque them up to any kind of spec, 5 or 10 nm, don't even go there. Just put them a little, little bit tight so that uh, the valve body plates will stay on the main channel plate. Once you've done that, you can flip the valve body around and uh, position these two plates and then bolt everything together. Uh, I'll show you guys. What I forgot to tell you guys is this is also exactly the moment where you're going to put in your selector. Uh, here you have the selector, you see it has a little triangle. The triangle is supposed to go into this slide over here. So when you've got that part on, you can put the selector in like that and make sure the triangle fits into that slide. That's all you got to do. Right, so I followed the bolt layout. I've got these two big parts uh, bolted on with the bolts that only hold the big parts to the main channel plate. Uh, the only bolts we have left are the bolts that hold the pressure uh, regulator unit and the small valve body part. What you're going to do now, uh, the best way to do it is flip the valve body on the side and get somebody to help you while somebody holds the valve body in position. You position both the uh, both valve body blocks on the correct ends of the, of the main channel plate, on the back side of the main channel plate, and you put some bolts in it to keep them on their position. Once you've done so, you can carefully put the valve body back on those two parts and bolt everything up um, when you want to torque it to spec. The problem with this is uh, you have to go around 5 to 10 Nm, but if there's still any kind of ADF in the system, which is very likely because you'll never get every uh, little piece of ADF out, uh, you're talking wet, and when you're talking wet, you can easily go up to 15 without knowing it. So what I'm doing, I'm using what I call wrist torque. You take a small torque, torque piece, and you put your wrist on it until you can't go any further. This is about 10 Nm. Um, I know this is a risk because EF says otherwise, but trust me, I've, I've already got one of these pieces on my car, and it runs great. So there's no, no problem with it at all. Um, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Uh, once you've got those parts on, once you've got all the bolts on, all you gotta do is refit those two speed sensors and you're 100% finished. Be back in a minute. Right, I'm finished constructing the valve body. Uh, two large plates, main channel plate, um, pressure block, small block. And I'm ready to put in those two speed sensors. Uh, what I forgot to tell you guys, um, when I dismantled the valve body, I lost that bolt. That, that's not a problem because my other valve, bo valve body still had that bolt. But while taking apart your valve body and making your bolt plan, you will have encountered that extra bolt. The reason I don't have it is because I lost it, but you will have an extra bolt right here. Nothing different, just bolted up, no problems at all. 
What I'm going to do now is uh, flip the valve body over. I'll show you to be carefully, how you carefully flip it over. Now we're going to mount the speed sensors. Now remember, we have a speed sensor with spacer plates and large bolts, which goes right on that side near the pressure block. We also have a speed sensor with small bolts, which goes in, goes in the middle. Uh, it doesn't matter if you mix up the speed sensors, they're the same as long as you don't mix up the bolts with the spacers. Uh, put them back together and you're done. This is a completely rebuilt valve body. Um, in your bolt plan you will see exactly, as mentioned before, you will see exactly what bolts you use to put it against the, um, put against the transmission. When you start filling your transmission after, uh, after valve body overall, you can easily get in 6 liters of oil. I've got in 6 to 6.5 liters of transmission fluid. Uh, when you have a black tag, I prefer to use Titan, Fuchs Titan ADF. Um, that's what I've used in this transmission. It uh, looked good after 30,000 kilometers. And uh, be careful when you take off or uh, remantle the uh, cable because the clips here easily break. That's it. I hope you guys can rebuild your own valve bodies. And uh, let me know in the comments if it worked out.